Welcome back to the MSU Federal Credit Union Coaches Show. Senior defensive end Maverick Hansen hadn't recorded a sack in over two years until this past Saturday when he had a sack and a half against Nebraska. It was a memorable senior day for Hansen, who has had a lot of twists and turns as well as tragedy during his time at MSU. Our Tyler Driesinga sat down with him this week and has more on how his love for this university and his family have guided him through it all. In the sixth grade, Maverick Hansen spent months pleading with his mother to let him go out for football. Eventually, she relented. There was just one problem. We didn't know when I signed up, but there was a weight limit at 170 pounds, you know, and I was 220 pounds. I was like really big sixth grader, you know, so uh, <laughs> I ended up all practices long. I'd just be running around the track and finally about week eight, you know, toward the end of the season, I finally lost all the weight and was able to play, you know, and once I got out there, I started throwing the kids around, you know, and I, I really liked it. So that just that was that began my football career from there and I just took off. Yes, Hanson really lost 50 pounds that fall showing early signs of the incredible dedication it takes to reach the level he has at MSU. Oh, it was a lot of suffering, um, mainly like mentally suffering because there was always, I always just always wanted to eat, you know, I just wanted to eat stuff all the time. And my mom would be like, do you want to play football or do you want to eat this? And I'd be like, well, I kind of want to play football, you know. Hanson went to high school at Farmington Hills Harrison and originally committed to Central Michigan. But on the morning of signing day, Michigan State called and offered him a scholarship. A lifelong MSU fan, Hanson flipped his commitment and signed with the Spartans. How much time passed between when they called you and offered that scholarship and when you decided that's who you're going to sign with instead of CMU? Like a split second. I mean, I could have had Alabama, Ohio State, any of them. I was still that came here. I just love this place. Also, my dad was in really bad health, so I, I needed to stay in Michigan. Hanson's father was diabetic and battled complications from a serious leg injury. He passed away last December at the age of 58. It, it was a tough time, but I was able to I was able to get through it. I knew my brothers had been through a lot more than I had. I, I like I my oldest brother, he's autistic and he witnessed it and me he witnessed my dad pass away and then my middle brother, he he was like the father figure of everything and had to take it all in his hands. So I knew what I was going through was nothing compared to what they were going through. So I kind of put my feelings on the back burner to try to support them. Hansen also says the support of the Spartan program throughout his father's health struggles is something he'll never forget. Last year during fall camp, he had he was in the ICU, and uh, I remember there was probably like three, like two or three practices where they were like, "Don't you like you don't worry about football. Just go home and take care of you know. Just go home and be be there for your family and everything." And um, that that truthfully meant a lot to me because I knew I knew that my family needed me. I knew that my oldest brother needed me to come home and be there for him while he was going through the hard time because he was living by himself. Um, which is definitely not easy for a, for a kid with autism, you know, no matter how old they are. How has that experience changed your outlook on football and on life outside of football? It, honestly, a lot, because life is so short and you, you, only, you only have so many opportunities to, to be around the people that you're around, you know. So I, always, I try to just take advantage of every opportunity I get to be around people and, um, and just make the most of every, everything, you know, because you, you never know who's going to be gone or what's going to be gone. So you just got to take advantage and, and be happy where you're at, you know, with what you have. Hanson's future at MSU is uncertain. He went through senior day festivities last weekend, but has one more year of eligibility left. There's so much uncertainty just because the whole situation with the head coach and all that stuff makes me makes me question if they are, if they're going to want me to come back or not. Uh, I I would like to come back. I've been ba you know back and forth with my mom. We've been talking about it, and um, she said that that I'll know when it's time. Hanson's mom was by his side for senior day and watched the team win their final game at Spartan Stadium. It was a beautiful moment, man. Having my mom on the field, just, you know, she she was tearing up a little bit and it almost made me tear up just because I know how much it meant to her. It was it was incredible to get the win and come out on top, you know, and able to sing the fight song one last time in, this, in Spartan Stadium. If it, if it is my last time, you know, I'm definitely, definitely going to remember it for the rest of my life. If your dad had been able to be there this, this past weekend, what do you think uh, he would have said to you or, or would have thought of your senior day experience. He would have been very proud. I'm, uh, I know because I haven't I haven't gotten a sack in two years. You know since 2021. So I, I was able to get a sack and a half this past week, and it was and it was a great win. And 
um, able to kind of you know contribute and, and, and get that win on senior day. It was he would have just been so proud and happy for me to to make the to make some plays and be out there doing what I love and with with my brothers and everything. So he would have been so happy and uh, wish he would have been here, you know. But you know I know he's I know he's looking down and he and he's my number one fan up there. Hanson's deep appreciation for the military comes from his father as well as other family members who have served and he even said if he did not receive a football scholarship he would have joined the Marines and even now he is considering enlisting once his football playing days have come to an end. When we come back we're going to be sitting down with another player on the defensive side of the ball but this time it is a newcomer to the Spartans defense. We'll see you soon. This segment is sponsored by the Lansing Sports Commission.